on guys welcome back to the channel you know who it is by now <laughs> so ladies and gents we are back after a short hiatus work just had me in the biggest of headlocks and it was like i ain't letting you go until you break up for summer but anyway we are here summer is in work is out so let's talk about some Yu-Gi-Oh cards now the card in question which i no doubt you've seen the, the thumbnail ladies and gents is Metal Tronus, could this be the most flexible card in Yu-Gi-Oh at the moment? Because I feel like with the re resurgence of another tier 0 format, I feel like Metal Tronus is definitely going to be a card worth thinking about when you're doing your deck building, particularly if you're going to go to any of those like higher level events like YCSs, nat uh, Nationals, WCQs, all that kind of stuff. So without wasting any more time ladies and gents, let's get straight into it. Okay, so for those of you that don't know what the card does, let's just read it really, really quickly just to go over what its effect is. So, Metal Tronus reads, Target one face-up non-token monster your opponent controls. Special summon one monster from your hand deck or extra deck that has two or more of the same type, attribute and or attack but negate its effects and if you do negate that targeted monsters effects also after that if these monsters have the same name you can banish both face down your opponent cannot activate the targeted monsters effect in response to this card's activation you can only activate one metal trollness per turn so in effect it is a very very convoluted um, effect veiler or infinite impermanence um, with the fact that it actually provides you with a body which is really really invaluable in today's game of Yu-Gi-Oh so it trades a uh, negation with a body on board for yourself depending on how you decide to do your deck building ladies and gents and I feel like that is just such an invaluable trait like I don't understand why nobody else is really talking about this card especially in metas like this where it's almost like T0 decks you can hit engine um, you can hit other decks in the format you can use hand traps as like effectively ways to kind of interact with your opponent and i'm going to go into a few examples ladies and gents but all you need to keep in mind is you negate a monster's effect you put a body on board that could even be a tuner it could be a specific level if you're playing like i don't know some kind of synchro variant or some xyz variant like the opportunities are endless endless ladies and gents and one of the key aspects of this card is the fact that the targeted monster cannot activate its um, effect in response to this card now obviously it dies to ash um, but ash is once per turn and arguably you're gonna have a lot more other things happening in the turn um, without Met Metatron Metatronus obviously resolving this is always going to be chained to something um, for the most part anyway so let's just get into a few examples of what this card can actually hit Okay, so I've got a few examples written down, so bear with me, ladies and gents, because I want to try and get as much information off as possible. So, the first one that I had written down was Crimson Dragon. Um, so, you can actually uh, negate the Crimson uh, Dragon quick effect by special summoning an effect Vela. Um, it's both zero attack as well as a light monster, which is just absolutely crazy. And obviously, that's going to come up because Whitewood Centurion is definitely a thing. Um, not the most powerful deck, which is really, really odd to say because I feel like Whitewoods are crazy, but it's still got its application in the game because it's effectively going to go for a Calamity's Luck. So, being able to negate the, um, or well, not even necessarily Calamity's Luck, could go for Cosmic Blazar in effect, but most likely it's going to be going for a Calamity is luck and in a in a game state where your opponent's trying your, the hardest just to not allow you to play Yu-Gi-Oh I feel like that's just like super invaluable uh, another one that I had a bit of a thought of is Yubao so Yubao obviously it's a dark fiend and there's a there's a plethora of dark fiends that you could specifically summon majority well some of the unchained monsters um, for example and if you've got ways to pop them you get their um, additional benefits because obviously once they're destroyed they become different cards so you're able to just do whatever you need to do with the bodies um, uh, as well as like link it off um, but I had Tricorn the Concophonous concept um, <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful it's a weird common um, obviously there's other cards out there but I just thought this one's funny just because it allows for a little bit of recursion depending on what your board state is saying um, for someone like myself who loves Vanquish Soul I can special summon Dr. Madlove if I'm targeting any of the U-Bow monsters because the majority of them are just dark fiends anyway so I can summon Dr. Madlove 
negate um specifically like the fusion monster which is just like a hard negate negate that effect and then also get the body on board i can link it off for rock of the vanquisher and then just start to play from there um ddd vice king requiem mainly because it's 2800 attack and this one has a bit of a dual um, purpose but 2800 attack dark fiend monster and you can allow it to be overlaid um or put it underneath the ddd um deuce machina x which is just the 3k beat stick basically i wouldn't advise putting any anything else in your um deck to try and facilitate its um pop but it becomes a body and you could potentially even go into zeus with it which i just feel like is just another thing just beat over the target in monster um and do your thing so i think that's just absolutely crazy uh, another one for tempai xyz ray pierce <laughs> it does burn damage uh it's if they've got a fire dragon on field it does a little bit of burn damage not like your games are really going to last that long in tenpai but i just thought it was a bit of a funny little tech um what else do we have a uh, knight armed dragon the armored knight dragon and that's specifically for kawakimeru drago that they'll summon off um hieratic seal of the heavenly spheres um it's a wind dragon monster you can negate the um kawakimeru drago and just continue to play so for all you you bow players that's going to get locked out um with the tempire player there's just there's a tech there for you ladies and gents just nice and simple fiend smith which is going to be the order of the day majority of them are light fiend monsters so there's, obviously you can go for any of the magical muskets you can go for fabled lurry um, which is really easy but again something that i found thought was a little bit techy and um, ddd vice king requiem again it's got 2800 attack and it is a fiend monster so definitely keep that in mind ladies and gents um you don't need to play anything else in your deck uh, you can literally just do that and if you've got space in your extra deck obviously you can play um ddd deuce machina x but just to negate that effect you've got 2800 body uh, i think it's like a level eight for, if my memory serves me correctly but just something to negate that effect which i think is just absolutely busted you've also got um infernoid a ton out <laughs> which is crazy it's a uh, 2800 attack it's a fiend monster so fits the requirements of metal tronus which is just crazy so if you are playing infernoids because they've got uh, recent support a whole host of cards there that you can just obviously access and if you didn't know the infernoid monsters are bricks inherently ladies and gents so just having been able to get them out of your deck as quickly as possible i think is just invaluable um and and that's about it um and one other thing that I had in mind ladies and gents now Trust me when I say this, there's so many applications for this card that I have not thought of. This was me just literally lying there and just thinking of just random situations that could potentially happen in the upcoming metagame. But there's quite a few situations that you might run into with some of the decks that you're expecting to see. So I thought, you know what, what if I got Nibiru, what could I actually do? So there's a few things you could do. You could summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. We all know that that, that deck's getting support. Um, it's a light 3000 attack monster, so it shares those attributes with um, Nibiru. You could also summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, which is just another crazy little extender. In the, in the Photon deck specifically, it helps but it's also a level eight so you can combine that with i don't know another level eight or a, a, a level two tuner to be able to go into like a, a rank uh, sorry a synchro 10 just options are endless ladies and gents and those are just a few things that i've thought of like if you've got any ideas or any like text that you could use metal Tronus for definitely get at me in that comment section below ladies and gents like i'm coping but i'm also actually cooking at the same time because i feel like it's so undervalued at the moment and with the prevalence of mirror matches and um, cross out designator being a card having this in your back pocket will definitely help you because you can use it to hit engine which i always think is a good thing for a card to be able to do because it stops the randomness or it stops the fact that you need to deck build specifically to be able to hit a specific card if you hit an engine and you're playing a mirror match you know that those cards are going to be in your opponent's deck you know that you're going to have those cards in your deck so it, it serves a great purpose and i think it was on show last format in snake eye format hitting the diabal star off the metal tronus just yeah just literally shuts them down but anyway ladies and gents if you've got any more thoughts and ideas like i said previously get at me in that comment section below and we find ourselves at the end of another video as always if you do like this content you know what to do by now hit that like button share subscribe all of that beautiful good stuff and i would definitely definitely see you guys on the next video hope you enjoyed Peace.